The most recent LEGO Jabba's Palace set was released in 2012, and I reviewed it on the channel back in 2017. I had intended to follow that up with a review of the new LEGO Sail Barge, but somehow that just never happened. So we're going to fix that today. Jabba's Sail Barge, or set number 75020, was released in 2013. It retailed for $120 and consisted of 850 pieces and 6 minifigures, four of which were brand new for the set. Before we look at the set in detail, I think it's worth reminding ourselves of what the actual sail barge looked like. Now let's compare the new set with the old set released in 2006. You can see that the old set is rather boxy and doesn't look as streamlined as the new one, although that did give it quite a bit more room up on the deck. The sails of both of them seem to sit much too high, but I assume they did that so that there would be room for minifigures to fit underneath the sails. Like the old set, the new one is composed mostly of brown bricks with a few stickers applied to add detail, and I think overall it captures the feel of the sail barge fairly well. It's easy to adjust the position of the sails, and you can even remove them altogether if you want to play on the top of the ship. The previous sail barge used cloth sails, similar to the cloth that minifigure capes are made out of, and this one uses a glossy plastic. On the deck we can see the main cannon that in the movie was used to destroy the sail barge. It rotates and does shoot off these little projectiles, but they really don't go very far. There's a bit of a surprise in the front of the ship. It lifts open to reveal a cannon inside. And it appears to be an old-fashioned cannon straight out of a pirate ship. Even stranger, you have to actually remove it from the ship to fire it. There are four red cannonballs that you can load into the barrel and then fire using the spring-loaded trigger in the back. Like the cannon they added to the roof of Jabba's palace in the other set, this seems like a bit of an odd addition. We do see the sail barge attack in the LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens video game, but that appears to just be using the cannon on the deck. My hunch is that they just wanted something to fit in the awkward space created by the new, more streamlined front of the ship, and they decided to use a cannon for that. Shutters on the sides of the ship can be closed or opened to allow characters on the inside to peer out, including Jabba over in his throne room here, although you have to be looking at it from below if you want to actually see his face. Unlike the previous version, this has wheels on the bottom, so I guess sail barge races are a thing now. There are a number of panels that fold down to reveal the interior of the ship, starting with the jail cell and galley or kitchen, then the throne room with Jabba, and the lounge area in the back with Max Rebo's piano. The panels in the back also fold down for easy access, and of course, the front of the ship opens to reveal the cannon. Finally, the entire top of the ship can easily be lifted off. You can fit two or three minifigures into the jail cell, which has a door that opens directly onto the kitchen area. The kitchen is pretty small, but it does have a few details like a frying pan and some food hanging on the walls, and a stove and cook pot on the fire. By comparison, the throne room is almost completely bare if you remove Java. There's just a little area where you can place him, but not even a real throne. And in the rear of the ship where the guests would be, we only have Max Rebo and his piano. And I'll have to say, the piano itself is only barely passable as a representation of Max's piano. Next, if we look at the minifigures, we can see that the Jabba included in this set is the same one as in the new Jabba's Palace set. It's a great figure, but nothing really new. The same can be said of the drink-serving R2-D2 figure, which is just the normal R2 figure with an extra piece and some drinks added, but it works pretty well. Slave Leia was a new figure with this set. You may recall that the Jabba's Palace set came with Leia in her Bounty Hunter disguise, so if you wanted a modern-style Slave Leia figure, you'd have to get it with this set. On the other side of her stern-looking expression, she has a more happy expression. Also new with this set was the Weequay figure, which came with this axe. And interestingly, on the other side of his head, he has part of a sort of ponytail that goes down onto his back. I thought that was kind of cool. Riyiz was another new figure with the set. He comes with a heavily sculpted head and a blaster. The last new figure introduced with this set is possibly the cutest Jabba-related minifigure, 
Max Rebo. He's uh, quite a bit shorter than the other ones and comes with this rubbery sculpted head. That's pretty much what you get with this set, but the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed that you get a poster inside as well. So let me go ahead and show you that. It's actually a pretty cool poster showing the battle above the Sarlacc pit, and you may notice that it includes the Sarlacc and the Skiff, which are in a separate set that I'm going to have to be covering in another video. As you can probably tell from the way I've been talking about this set, I like it quite a bit. My only real reservations are that it seems quite a bit more cramped and smaller than the original sail barge, even though they aren't really that much different in size. It would have been nice if it was a little bit bigger inside, just so we'd have some room to play and pose our figures, but aside from that, I really don't have any complaints. It's a great set, and for the most part, I think it lives up to what we wanted from a LEGO sail barge. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more LEGO content.